It on says it's executed a second prisoner amid the nationwide protests. It on's Mizan news agency identifying the man as Maji Dreza Rahanvard. He's been convicted for allegedly stabbing two security forces and wounding four others. Iran executed the first prisoner detained amid the demonstrations on Thursday. Now, activists warn that others could also be put to death in the near future, saying that around a dozen people have received their death sentences over their involvement in the anti-regime protests. Let's bring in I-24 News senior correspondent Bianca Zanini joining us live in studio this morning. Bianca, what do we know about this execution? It's the second one. Dozens of others have these death sentences handed, right. handed down. People from the international community sounding the alarm that these others will be put to death as well. So break down the events from yesterday. Right. As you said, it's the second one in less than a week, the second execution in less than a week of protesters participating in the these nationwide protests that have really been um, putting pressure on the Iranian authorities. And what we're seeing now could be said uh, to be the beginning of a new phase, right? We're entering a new level in the crackdown of the Iranian authorities on the protesters. And apart from the, the executions themselves, it also carries a major symbolic weight, which is why they've begun doing it in such a, a public way as well, right? According to these uh, human rights organizations, we're looking at 12 other people that have already received the death sentence and are now waiting <clears throat> to be executed. And another 18 are at high risk uh, of uh, being um, executed as well. And this really shows just how fast the process is going, right? Uh, Ranavar's alleged stabbing, he's accused of stabbing two security police, uh, security officers during protests less than a month ago. That is really quick. That is a very fast process. And it's a very effective scare tactic as well. He was publicly hanged, which we know in general is the let's say, weapon of choice when it comes to Iranian authorities executing prisoners. And we're looking at more than 18,000 prisoners that have been arrested that are now looking at this and p potentially really uh, being scared. Now, it's an interesting element because on the one hand, uh, this uh, prisoner who was executed was accused uh, based on video footage of him stabbing someone, running, there was a, a motorcycle chase. And on the one hand, that's what the Iranian authorities are saying that they base their, their decision on. On the other hand, at the end of the day, what he was sentenced for was um, con uh, raging a war against God. I wanted to say it correctly, and that create uh, that has that carries a public um, that carries a death penalty, raging a war against God. So it's really kind of unclear what it is. They didn't bring up any motive, and also uh, there are uh, reports that he was tortured and was never given a lawyer. And Bianca, let's talk about how, if it's surprising that Iran has begun executing these protesters. We do know, as you mentioned, 18,000 arrests, 450 deaths, tens of thousands of injuries across the Islamic Republic. But is it surprising that they actually have begun executing protesters after following reports last week that they were looking at abolishing the morality police? They were looking at removing the mandatory uh, hijab law for women women. So they were perhaps looking to uh, push back some restrictions and well, talk to us about it. Well, to be honest, I found it surprising when the reports came out last week saying that essentially they were listening to the, the protesters. That I found surprising. This is less surprising. Iran is one of the top executioners in the world. They're only second to China. I've got some numbers numbers here. At least uh, 330 people, at least it is unclear how many because not all of them are reported uh, by the authorities just last year. And according to Amnesty International, this year, 2022, has seen a very rapid rise in the number of killings. More than uh, 250 people killed just in the first six months of 2022. So in many ways, this is very much in line with what is expected. What's different perhaps this time is the very, very uh, public and rapid way the pro process is going. It's very open as well. There, the, And this is something that goes back to what we hear again and again, a lack of a fair trial, lack of access to lawyers. And then these uh, very 
vague accusations like raging war against God, but what did you actually do? But uh, these are the sentences that are, are being carried out. I-24 News Senior Correspondent Bianca Zanini live with us in studio this morning. Thank you.